So I'll ask you the question we've been asking each other for mm -hmm. years, and in, in particular, you know, over the first four weeks, and then certainly coming off of of last night's game, where Daniel Jones is now in Oof. year five, year six. He looked like the way that he looked. Geno Smith, as we all know, was yeah. is the reigning comeback player of the year. Mm -hmm. uh, and I think one of the first comeback player of the year where he's not coming back from injury, just being benched. Lack yeah. of opportunity. He's coming back Absolutely. from lack of opportunities. Yeah. So why, why is it so tough to find 32 starting quarterbacks in the National Football League, Gerald McCoy? What do you think? You know, this game is extremely, extremely, extremely difficult, and it will humble you. It does not matter how good you've been your entire life. At the highest level, you can't just out-athlete everybody. And a lot of quarterbacks come in with the mindset of, oh, I've always been good. I can just do it how I've been doing it. And that's not how it works in this league. If they say you have to be the smartest guy in the room, that's the quarterback. That is, without a doubt, you have to. You have to know everybody's assignment. You have to put in the work. And sometimes you see people be in practice, and it's like, oh, we got us a guy. But – when those lights come on and those live bullets start flying and you know somebody can hurt you, <laughs> you know, it gets in people's heads. And that game moves a lot faster. I always tell the the college guys coming in, mm -hmm. your national championship is our preseason. That's how fast the game moves. So when a guy comes in and is playing like C.J. Stroud is playing, it's like, well, Jesus, that guy's – he's got something, mm -hmm. you know. But – this game is so difficult and it's always evolving. You have to learn to evolve with the game. And you have to – Warren Sapp told me after I made my first Pro Bowl, he said, okay, now that you've made one, you have to start stacking them. The only way to stack them is you can't be the same person every year and be successful because people will start to figure out this is the best players, the best minds at this sport. So every year you have to evolve. And some people don't know how to evolve or – when the lights come on, it's just too much for them. And then, of course, there's the pressure. There's the opportunity yeah. as well. Again, not just Geno Smith. I'm t just take a look at, say, somebody mm -hmm. like Jared Goff, mm -hmm. right? First overall pick. Yeah. Second team when he was traded to the Lions by mm -hmm. the Rams. The offensive guru genius of Sean McVay is turning you right. down. Like you, Absolutely. And you help get to a Super Bowl. Absolutely. Right? It's, and, and obviously there are many reasons, team game, why you get to a Super Bowl. But when Goff got traded to the, to the Lions, it's just like, okay, he's been banished essentially mm -hmm. by an offensive guru. He must be no good. Right. Now look at him. Like yeah. year eight, he is efficient. He is dangerous. He yeah. is confident. His and team is too. Right. And so uh, it, it, it's, it's just an age-old question because you see running backs mm -hmm. come out of college. You see – Defensive ends right. come out of college. You see wide receivers come out of college, although not so much the class so far for the first right. four weeks this year. You know, and now all these great quarterbacks in, in the Pac-12 just alone, mm -hmm. you're sitting here thinking, okay, the, the future's bright in the NFL, but it's 12, 15 guys every year. It's just yeah. the same thing every year. And yeah. that's why I forget. I'd love to ask somebody on the other side of the ball right. who can see that fear and taste it. Who, who's played a position like, say, Aaron Donald making mm -hmm. Geno Smith scream, oh, my God, you yeah, know? Yeah, that was funny. So, <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah. Like, I figured out, I, I'm wondering well, where you, this is, what's, what's well, up with I, this? I even tweeted yesterday. I said, Zach Wilson has all the skills and talent to be a really good quarterback in this league, but his, his decision-making and confidence is the problem. Mm -hmm. And when pressure hits you, like you said, sometimes that can make or break a person. And when I think about the pressure that a quarterback has to has to face, I look at it like a combat sports uh, or boxing, MMA. When you go into the fight, you know you're going to get hit. But what makes the fighters great is knowing they're going to get hit but not being phased by it. This is what I signed up for. I'm going to get hit. But I'm good too. So when these quarterbacks go into these games – and they start to – that pressure starts to hit them, they have to say, okay, this is just a part of it. I welcome that. But then sometimes, guys, systems make the player. Like every quarterback, just because you have a certain skill set or your skill doesn't mean every system fits you. That is not – that is not true. You can't just take every quarterback and put them in any scheme and say, hey, he's skilled – 
I'm going to put him in this scheme because he's skilled. No, no, no. Your scheme does not fit his, his skill but set. But system quarterback, Gerald McCoy, is like that's, that's, um, that's like a, it's an insult. Call somebody a system quarterback, right? And, and technically, isn't Tom Brady a system quarterback? It's just the system he's happy to run because he knows it. Manning, well, ran, it, ran, Manning ran a system that no other quarterback could, which is why when he went out with a neck injury, you know, the Colts lost a ton of games. Yeah. The, Rogers' system mm-hmm. coming in to this year is something that I've heard for four straight broadcasts every single quarterback or right. analyst that's in the booth, former quarterback or analyst, that former player in the booth say they had to switch from Rogers' system because he runs it a certain way, mm-hmm. pre-snap, post-snap, in the huddle. Zach's trying to figure that out. You know what I mean? So, yeah, well, I mean, the quarterback – you could create a system that a quarterback gets used to and what makes them. Example being Brady, I think we can all agree, is the greatest to ever do what he's done. Mm-hmm. When he first got to Tampa, there was a lot of ups and downs. Oh, yeah, for about it's going to work. It's going to work. They were 500. And I said on an interview then, in order for this thing to turn around, they have to do what Brady loves to do. Run the ball, play action, screens, and then everything will open up. And sure enough, they went and played Atlanta – they had the bye week. Yeah, they did. They had the bye week. After losing to the Chiefs. Yep. yep. And they came back, and the whole offense was different, and they didn't lose the rest of the year because they said, hey, listen, we've been trying to make the greatest of all time play in this scheme instead of letting him do what fits him. And they started doing what fits him, and there's nobody could stop him. <laughs> like, it just – Yeah. Yeah. And they're, and they're there's nothing a, wrong with that. And, they're, and suddenly he's throwing trophies on a, on a boat, you know. Yes. Catch the Rich Eisen Show every single day on the Roku channel, 12 to 3 Eastern, for free.